welcome to Love and Life's Journey. I'm Chantel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel and you like Dollar Tree DIYs, DIYs on a budget, or just DIYs in general, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload new videos because that's pretty much what happens here on my channel is DIY projects. So today's video is sponsored by Dollar Tree and today, August 25th, they are celebrating one year of carrying Hallmark cards in their stores and they have put together this promotion for, for celebrating that and they sent me a package of greeting cards so I want to share those with you but I also want to tell you about a sweepstakes that they are doing and also uh, show you a quick DIY project that you can make using note cards from Dollar Tree. So first of all, Dollar Tree sent me some of their cards and they actually have two lines of cards that they carry, two main ones, and they are the Heartline cards and these are the ones that are two for a dollar. And so here are some of the samples that they sent to me and there's just some really pretty ones with florals on them and most of them have kind of a foil uh, writing or the lettering on them is done in a foil so it makes it stand out more and then they have some really cute ones this one says i'm sorry with a sad little dog on it um, and then just some funny ones like this one with the cow on it but those are just 50 cents each and they come with you know nice colorful envelopes and so it's a great way to save money when you're giving gifts because it's always nice to include a card with a gift, but some of those cards in the retail stores are really expensive. You can pay six, seven, eight dollars for just a card, and I'd rather spend the money on the gift and not the card, especially since most people don't keep the cards, and Dollar Tree is a great way to save money in that area. And then another line of cards that they carry are is called Expressions by Hallmark. And these are the little bit larger cards. They have a little bit more detail on them. This one has some glitter on all of those shooting stars. And I know it doesn't show up in the camera very much, but um, it, it has the glitter on them as well as the foil lettering. And they're usually a little bit larger. So just a little bit more detail. And these are a dollar each, but that is still a great deal for a nice card. And so, you know, be sure to check these out in your stores. You know, Dollar Tree has over 6,800 stores nationwide. So hopefully there's one close by you that you can find these cards. And also look for some other lines of cards that they carry. Some of the stores have uh, varying lines uh, that are a little bit more specific, maybe inspirational or religious cards. Uh, so just look for those in your store. And something that I didn't realize is that the cards by Hallmark that are in your Dollar Tree stores are exclusive to Dollar Tree. So these are cards that um, that you'll only find at Dollar Tree. And so they have some really cute ones. You know, I go in there and look for cards all the time. I'm always able to find something that fits the occasion that I'm looking for. And I like to stock up so that I have them on hand when I need one in a hurry. So, and at 50 cents or a dollar each, you can afford to do that. So I would encourage you to check them out. Also, I wanted to tell you about the sweepstakes that Dollar Tree is doing to celebrate this one year anniversary. They are giving away to 20 different people um, a prize package that is a full box of cards, like 100 greeting cards and note cards, and also a $100 gift card to Dollar Tree. And I will put the link to that sweepstakes in the description box below so that you can check that out and um, make sure you enter. And then also I'll put a link to the greeting card section on the dollartree.com website so you can read more about what they carry in their stores. I don't think currently you can order greeting cards online, but you can check out the different types of uh, cards that they offer and read about those on that link as well. Now let's just jump into the DIY project that I put together using note cards from Dollar Tree. This is a really simple, easy project that you can put together quickly and it only costs $2 using items from Dollar Tree. So let's get to it. So today I'm going to be making these luminaries out of note cards and I just think they are beautiful. They're really easy to make 
and all you need is one package of these note cards and there are six cards in a package and I chose ones that didn't have any writing on them um, I liked these this leaf design kind of goes with the fall but there's all kinds of designs that you can choose I will also be using one of these silver wire LED light strings from Dollar Tree and if you can't find these then you can also use just the little battery operated LED lights obviously you don't want to use a real candle in these because of the fire hazard for my tools I'll be using a cutting board and an exacto knife and then I will also be using just some tacky glue. You could use any kind of glue for this that you have on hand. We're just gluing paper. And then uh, I'll also be using my paper trimmer, but you can just use a pair of scissors if you don't have one of these. So for this project, I'll be using four of the note cards and I'm going to trim off part of the back of the card. I want to leave about a half of an inch of the back side of the card on this. So this is what it will look like once you've trimmed it. And then you're just going to repeat that for the other three cards. So now that I have my four cards cut, I am going to take each card and my X-Acto knife and cutting board, and I'm just going to use the knife to cut around parts of the design. So if you have a design with flowers on it, you might cut around part of the flower, um, or if you have a design with you know butterflies or just wherever you think you might want to cut out um, the design and you'll kind of see how this works as I go along here but I'm just cutting out around about half of the leaf and I'm going to do four or five leaves on this obviously I don't want to cut out the whole leaf because then it would just be a big hole so what I'm going for here is just a little bit of a cutout area that I can bend the car just a little bit to let the light shine through more. And obviously when you're doing this you want to be very careful because you are using a razor knife and so it's very sharp um, but just cut slowly and carefully to make a nice cut um, as you cut around your design. And then I'm bending the part I cut around up just slightly I don't want to crease it but just kind of roll it with my fingers just so it bends or curls up a little bit and if there are any jagged edges I'm just using my scissors just to trim those off really carefully next I'm going to glue my note cards together and so I'm just going to take my tacky glue like I said you can use any kind of glue you could even use to lose Elmer's glue for this and I'm going to put some glue down the white strip or the the strip that is from the back of the card and then I'm just going to overlap my cards and glue them one on top of the other I would not recommend using hot glue for this just because it's nice to have a little bit of time to work with this so that you can line up your edges and make sure it's all straight and even. So now I have all four cards glued together and then I am going to just fold them up in a square and glue that last one down and so that it forms a box basically then I'm just laying it flat I made sure there was no glue seeping out the edges and I just put something heavy on it until it was dried completely Now that it's dry, I'm just going to make sure my little leaf cutouts are 
uh, bent up like I like them, not too much, but just a little bit to shine the light through. And then it's time to decide what kind of light I want to put in this. I thought about using one of these LED candles from Dollar Tree or the tea lights and they both seemed a little bit too orange for me. I actually wanted it to look a little bit more white and so I ended up using the string of mini LED lights that I got at Dollar Tree and I liked this a lot better and so um, it's really just whatever you like and what your preference is. But again, please do not use a real candle because this is paper and it is flammable. I really like how this turned out. I love the white lights in it and you could leave it like this, just a luminary, but I also decided it would look kind of cool to put some flowers in it, some artificial flowers. You could also just put a jar, like a, a canning jar, and put some real flowers in that and then just use this luminary to go around the outside of the jar. And You could put the lights um, in between the luminary and the jar. So there's a lot of options for using this for decorating. And so I hope you like this easy DIY project. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And don't forget to enter that sweepstakes for the Dollar Tree giveaway. The link is in the description box below. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day.